Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another SAO Variant Showdown video. Now, the beta has only been out for eh, about 14 hours, it's because it, w it went live around 9.20 or so p.m. last night. It is currently 11.17 in the morning the next day, but I did play it for a good, you know, like, three and a half, four hours. And I came across uh, the same question over and over that we will answer today. Actually, we came across a few different questions that uh, a bunch of times. The number one is, when does this game come out? And we have no official, like, real hard release date yet. I have searched the internet, and it just says, uh, it's in development. Or there's a beta coming soon, so... I believe they want to shoot for, like, next year. Again, I'll do another quick search. Variant Showdown, release date. Let's see. The beta is set to begin June 10. Yeah, it's just that there's nothing really that says a hard date. Which is unfortunate, but again, we are only in beta. Okay, it says first 2022 release date on mobile, so sometime this year. I didn't look hard enough. So, 2022. Probably winter, if we're in beta right now and it's halfway through the year. So, that's the answer to the first question we always got. The second question is, how do I play it? And that answer is, it is a closed beta invite-only test. So, you had to have signed up for the beta registration back in, like, May or something? or even earlier than that, and then you had to be selected for the beta, to which whatever email address you used, whether it be iOS or Android, whatever email you used to register, that email is going to be linked to the beta account. So if you did register, didn't get in, sadly you're not going to be able to play it. If you did register, you did get in, then you should have an email, a couple emails, in your box stating that hey, you've been randomly selected, and then there should be like another one saying, hey, we pushed the beta back. And then the third one will be whether or not you're in group one or group two. If you're in group two, I don't know if you would have received the email yet, because that email also came with a download link for the game. Um, but if you did get the email saying that you were selected, but you haven't gotten email for the download yet, you're most likely in group two, which their beta starts in a week from now. So... If you're in group one and you were chosen, you should have an email with a download link in your Gmail or wherever, or your iOS. The third question and the high, the huge topic of this video is, uh, I am part of the beta, I do have my email, I do have the download link, I want to play it on PC, but Bluestacks is telling me no. Well, that is because you need to be running on the Pi 64-bit beta version. So. I have main slime and I have a secondary instance right here, but we will go ahead and make a new instance. So instance, fresh instance, you must select the Pi 64-bit beta, not the NuGet, the Pi beta. Alright, so CPU, we're going to leave it at high for 4 cores, memory allocation, high for 4 cores, landscape, going to leave it, ABI settings, you're going to leave it, and performance mode, I mean... I would probably go balanced, but if your computer can run it, you can also do high performance. And then your DPI, I'm going to leave at 240, and then you'll hit one instance count because you're only going to play it on that instance, right? And then you're going to hit create. So as long as you do all of those steps and you make sure to select the Pi 64 bit, you will be able to run it. So that's the whole focus of this video getting it to run on Bluestacks. Now, it is kind of a, a weird thing to play because. It does, you know, it does take you to move on this side and then attack on this side. But as I learned in the uh, stream last night from some few people that were much more uh, knowledgeable in Bluestacks than I am, you can map your controls using this keyboard button over here, Game Controls. So once we get into the fight, we click Game Controls and Controls Editor. And so now you can drag a D-pad over to you know their d-pad area and just lock it in and then WASD you hit save close this out and now I can use 
WASD to move around without having to do this and then go over here and stop moving and then go over here and then click over here. You can also assign these skills. So like I have dodge as my right click now and my left click you can't map to anything so you could click this or I have a multi-click where you just hold down the space bar and it will do the combo. And then these two keys for the specials I've mapped to Q and E. The only thing that I haven't mapped are the switching, which I probably should do that, but I haven't figured out which keys I want to use that yet. So that is how you play the game, map the controls, um, if you got in, and when it will release. So that's the focus of the video. That's it for me, guys. I'm going to start playing this more and really nail down some of my thoughts and gear and such things. So let me know if you got in, and if you did, how are you enjoying the game so far? That's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.